Alpha Step 200. Many times we get questions from customers as to how to adjust the stylus force. Um, when these tools are shipped, it is always important that the stylus force is examined prior to operation, as well as done weekly to verify that the integrity of the stylus head. Uh, most times you can do this without removing the brown cover. You simply remove this little black cap and you're able to look inside and see where the stylus force adjustment screw. For this demonstration, we're going to remove this brown cover so that we can have a full visual as to what, where the stylus force adjustment screw is. To do this, we'll first pull the camera zoom knob forward and put it in a safe location. I'm going to now drive the table all the way down by pressing the table down button. I'm going to use a 764 uh, Allen wrench to remove this cover. There's two depressions right here where in the back of them are 632 socket head screws. We're simply going to loosen those screws. There's no need to worry about the screw falling out. It does have a kept nut on the back to hold it into position. You want to be very careful when you're removing this cover to hold it upright so it does not come down and crash on the optical or the stylus head assembly itself. As you can see, this is your stylus head assembly right here, your camera folding optics, and a stylus force adjustment screw. To do this adjustment, cal stylus force adjustment, we're going to put a bare silicon wafer on this table. I'm going to position the substrate so that it's directly underneath the stylus head tip. I'm going to press and hold the table up button. The stylus head will drop down to a null position and the table will rise. As soon as this, you can see that the stylus tip has made contact with the substrate and it's normal for it to retract automatically. To start our stylus force adjustment, I'm going to press the reset button, the ENT, and then video, VID. And this is going to bring us to a back maintenance page. In the bottom left corner here, you see where you're seeing an LVDT output and the stylus force. To initially to initialize the stylus force calibration, we're going to press the style the table up button one time. The tip will come into contact with the substrate and then retract. As you can see here, the stylus force is reading at 16 milligrams. There's a very small 080 socket head screw with a very fine pitch on it. I'm going to use a .050 Allen wrench and I'm going to make a very small adjustment in a clockwise direction which will increase my stylus force. I'm then going to press the table up button and it will refresh and here you can see that now is 19 milligrams. It takes a very small adjustment. You don't want to be making a quarter of a turn or a half of a turn. Each stylus tip has a band on it which will determine this, the stylus force that you need for that tip. To exit out of this you simply press the enter button and you'll come back to the 10 core logo and you're ready to scan.